Hey guys, this is another race winner video. Now we have Todd Guillory's LMP. This is a class that we start to race this year. We're doing those races on Tuesday night, so it's a smaller group. Um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, this is the fastest car we have. This is a track holder, a track record holder for us. Um, check it out. This is Todd's cars. It's a um, scale auto Porsche 963, custom made, custom painted. Todd is taking doing a great job doing the paint work on his new team it's called a dark side check their their instagram um todd has been a great racer um he has started race with us for the past two years he found out about uh slot car racing uh on her swap meet two years ago he brought his father his son and um look has been great he has been involved in the hobby he is uh the track record holder for a lot of our classes over 50 percent maybe 60 percent he holds the record for those so he's a guy who just started barely two years ago and uh he has doing a great job and this is one of his fastest uh cars or, or better better say the fastest car of the of the of the rule book that we have this is the lmp class Again, Scale Auto, Porsche 963, new release, great paint job, beautiful, beautiful paint job with the dark side livery. I'm going to show another car that I have here from Todd. Todd won the MR Slot Car Challenge, and he has his Porsche a GT, a 911 GT1 MR Slot Car here painted on the same livery. So great job, Todd, doing this paint work. It's so, it's so nice, even the chassis. The border of the chassis is painted so they match the car. He painted the plastic wheel black too. The back of the chassis is also painted so we don't see the gray chassis, which is the hardest hardest chassis, be better option for our track. Uh, so let's open up. Let's see what Todd did here. Uh, we have, of course, rules and regulations of this class. You can check on our website and uh, you have to respect those. And for that, you have a freedom to uh, do the setup of your car. Of course, the LMP class is the fastest class we have. It's kind of open. Uh, you can use hollow axles, of course, no magnets, but hollow axles, open gearing, um, any tire you want, and dependent front wheels, and Todd took advantage of that, and he created this car, which is really, really fast. Um, I'm gonna put on the comments the the time that he did with that because that's the track record i think it was around five seven um okay let's start it um here you have the chassis from scale auto uh, i think it's the original chassis the, the gray one i believe is the hard one that they have um todd made uh this independent wheels as you can see here the wheels they run freely uh the way that he did it we can figure out when you open uh, this class you can use up to a 25k motor. Todd used this FK uh, type motor here that comes with the stronger magnets. I'm gonna check out to see the brand. I think it's a B52, uh, the Brazilian B52 from Zamario. Uh, from from the top here, you can see some washers, some 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 washers around the brass uh, screws that are holding the pod. He's using Scale Auto G25 tires. Uh, there's a Slotting Plus guide, uh, Slotting Plus guide. I think those are Slotting Plus too, the wheels painted in black. And the wheels I th might be scale auto. We can check it out when you see it. So the body is pretty lightweight. Um, let me see if I have a scale around here so we can weigh the whole car. Okay, guys, we're here back with the scale and uh, the track record was 5.214. That's pretty fast and for the very first race of this class so i believe those cars they can go under five seconds which is just for comparison like the the gte race that we have the record is a five eight so it's like half a second on a nine three feet track which is pretty damn fast so let's wait let's wait the car the whole car is around 81.6 81.6 for the car the whole car pretty lightweight uh let's open up ah before we open up let's say so you can see the chassis balance here there's no much in the front there's a lot in the back i don't know if you can see it but you can you can hear it and there's a little bit of movement this way not much sideways 
uh, one thing that I can see here is that the body is not completely um, aligned. This size, this side here is a little bit looser, losing a loose uh, to the other side. Let me see. Yeah, so this is a little bit out. Might be during the race. Uh, might be some crashes that they had. He had during the race, but you can you can feel that this this side it's. On top of the chassis, they just want to have a little space. The body should be a little bit to the other side. But let me open up and show you this body. This body is pretty uh, intense. Um, here, he's using his Lodding Plus screws for that. Uh, as you can see, those screws, they have the tread only on top. So this gives you room to give this kind of body movement here. Uh, let me take out the front screws this body is pretty cool because it has only two screws front and back which gives you a chance to do this kind of movement uh the body look at this uh the new scale auto the body is divided in two portions the back and the front so the front moves around uh and this might be look there's like, like a click here that's might be let me see where it came from it's coming from here so this might became loose during the race that's why you have the body on top of one side of the chest and not the other one. Let me see how much this weights. 17.3 uh, for the body. Uh, it's not that lightweight. Uh, there's a lot of details here. Uh, for comparison, in the Mosler, we have a 16.7 out of factor. This is custom made, custom painted, so it should be a little lighter. Let me take the white sticker of it very close. So yeah, great clear coat. Doesn't hurt this the, the decals. Great paint job. Congratulations, Todd. This car looks great. So here to the chassis. So in this class, kind of open. Uh, he is using his Lodding Plus um, lead, lead, wire, lead wires. I think those are Lodding Plus too. Uh, it says here. Let me see if I can read. Zlotting Plus, I believe, yeah, I believe it's Zlotting Plus also front tires. Um, Zlotting Plus um, axles. Uh, there is a tube here that he put as a spacer to hold, you see, this brass tube to hold the chassis in place. This is something that he has been developing for a long time. This is a B52-25KX. The motor, so it's a 25,000 RPM. I believe that it's ball bearing. Um, he's also using original pod, original bra bra brackets for the for the Porsche 963 from Scale Auto, and he's adding some weight here on the sides and a little bit here on the motor, and that's it. It says Lodding Plus uh, pinion, removable pinion, and a Scale Auto gear, sign winder, angle winder gear. Uh, there's a little, I believe those purple ones, there is slotted um, collar to hold in place. There's no much room here. And he's also using ball bearings here. There's ball bearings on the car. I believe that the wheels, they're either, I think there are, mm, you can see if I screw. Yeah, there's scale auto wheels uh, with foam inserts. They, th those are the air system ones. Uh, I mean, with the shoulders, with the uh, foam insert on it. Uh, the, tar the tire, of course, is through it. It's a um, G25 kind of grayish scale auto tire. Uh, they sell it in three sizes. Uh, one are wider than the other ones, but they're basically the same rubber. Again, uh, it's a uh, solid axle in front, but uh, let me see, this is not moving, but independent wheels on on, on in front of it so it's just a little bit a little bit trick a, a little trick here on the top of the axle so to make the, the wheels being independent uh, they are aluminum yeah they are aluminum with the set screw but he's not using any set screws here um, this chassis is pretty cool because he gives you some spaces to put screws on like here and here and here and here that makes you have that makes a uh, little distance. There's more on the on the back here too, so it gives you distance between the chassis and the body, so the body doesn't rubber rubber on the chassis. Uh, other than that, um, pretty cool car. The motor pod is set with nuts. A lot of work done here. 
This car drives amazingly. I didn't. I, I drove it when I was uh, when he was testing it, and uh, he also developed a little bit more. And the car on the race was perfect. He was unbeatable. He did a lot of laps. Let me see here how many I have here. Uh, 183 laps. This is also the track record. He beat it, uh, Rick Jokan with 181 with the NSR Formula One. So this car is the fastest thing ever touch our track. Uh, I hope we develop more of this class because there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, other than that, if you put it in a plane, in a plane uh, jig, uh, the wheels, they barely touch. The guide, there's a little distance between here, a little, there, the guide is not 100% uh, sitting on it. And he also uses a spacer. And I just noticed on the guide, there's a sliding plus a spacer here that uh, also works as a ballast. Um, the guide comes back to the place like this should be. If you crash, the guide is straight again, uh, which helps uh, with the marshals. Um, so guide, if you put in a flat, in a flat surface, the guide uh, has a little space. The wheels, they barely touch it. They're very lightweight. And here in the back, you have uh 0 0.8 maybe yeah right there 0 0.8 which is our clearance rule below the axle and the guide this is a pretty cool car it's a joy to drive uh todd broke all the records with it well deserved because if you see the car it's in it's pristine it's perfect it's all everything is well well done tires are very well to true it and polish it the weight distribution is perfect everything is where it's supposed to be this is a high-end slot car racer, and that's why he holds all the track records for a track. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of those videos now because I accumulate some cars. Uh, I have eight to go, and uh, Carlos will be releasing one every week, every Monday. All right, guys. Thank you very much.